In this episode, we are looking at the second day of scraping on your oboe reed. Once you have completed the first day, which is what we call the basic scrape, and it has dried for a day, it is time to refine it. After soaking the reed for about three minutes, try crowing the reed. Now don't give yourself a hernia trying to get a sound out of that reed. Don't be surprised if the reed has stiffened up. This is normal. Okay, well let's start by refining the tip of the reed. Insert the plaque before you start scraping and make sure your knife is sharp. We want the tip to be shaded, getting thinner toward the sides and the end of the tip. There are different ways to achieve this shading. For now, start scraping about one millimeter from the end of the tip with your knife at a diagonal to the end of the tip on the right side. Do several strokes, following through past the end of the tip. Then go another one or two millimeters back and do the same thing. Work your way back in this manner until you are starting strokes right at the V-line. Keep the concept of the shading in mind as you scrape. You will then do the same thing on the left side of the tip. Your knife will never be directly in the center of the reed. All scraping will be done on one side or the other of the spine. If you listen to your scrape, you will hear a clicking sound as you follow through to the end of the tip. As the tip gets thinned down, the clicking sound will get quieter. You'll want the click to be nearly inaudible. Beginning reed makers often wonder how thin to scrape the end of the tip. You are trying to get the tip as thin as it is on a finished reed. Once you have thinned and refined the tip on both blades, you can move on to the heart. Imagine a channel between the spine and the rail as you scrape on each side of the heart. Keep your knife in the channel so that you are almost never scraping on the spine or the rail. If the reed seems really stiff as you scrape, or if it seems harsh when you crow it, then you could take a swipe or two off the spine. The spine and rails function as strengthening sections of the reed. If there is not enough cane in those areas, the engineering of the reed is compromised and it collapses easily. If the rails get too thin, it could also create a leak. The scraping that you do on the second scrape is similar to what you do on the first day, the basic scrape. The reed stiffens up overnight, so scrape the heart in the way that you did on the first day, working your way backward with small strokes. Remember that you want your heart to be the strongest part of your reed, so don't take too much cane off the heart. Once you've worked your way through the heart, take a few more strokes off the back on either side of the spine. The backward knife technique is used here to smooth out the ridge between the back and the heart. Then test the crow like you did the day before. The goal is that the reed should crow a double C, meaning that there is a higher register C if you blow lightly, and a lower C that comes in if you blow with more strength. You want to use the crow to give you information and make a diagnosis about the state of your reed. You will analyze the pitch as well as the strength of the crow. As you prepare to act on your diagnosis, keep these general concepts in mind. Making a reed shorter by clipping it makes the pitch higher. Keeping the reed longer keeps the pitch lower. A reed that is more open will likely be lower in pitch. A reed that is more closed will tend toward a higher pitch. Scraping cane off the reed generally lowers the pitch. There are many exceptions to these statements. A good oboe reed is truly a marvel of engineering, and there are many factors that go into its structure. In general, if the pitch is higher than C, your reed should have more cane taken off. But if the reed is tending to be closed, then taking more cane off will close the reed further. Likewise, if the pitch is lower than C, you will most likely need to clip the reed. Clipping the reed will make the reed more resistant and harder to play on. Always clip just a little bit at a time, one millimeter or less. The finished length of the reed from the bottom of the cork to the end of the tip should be around 70 millimeters. Crow it now and let's analyze it. Since this reed is crowing a B, we will need to clip it. Then we will crow it again and analyze that crow. After 
After your second day of scraping, your reed should be at or close to 70 millimeters and crowing a C before you put it away. Play on the reed a bit. Dip it in water, gently squeeze it open, and place it in a safe place until the next day when your reed will be ready to be finished. If your reed is turning out nicely, it's tempting to play on it too much, especially if the current reeds you are playing on are bad. Don't give in to this temptation. Your reed will last longer if you stay on a timeline of four days for finishing. One day to wrap, one day for the basic scrape, one day for the second scrape, and one day for testing and finishing. If you follow this schedule, your reed will last longer once you have finished it. Now that's something to crow about. <laughs>